Hello there, YouTube fans. Welcome to Art for Heart Painting Show. I'm Artist Mark. Behind me is an 11 by 14 canvas. The name of this video is The Cabin in the Foothills. The cabin, uh, yeah, Cabin in the Foothills. Now, before I begin to, uh, to do this, I want to show you all something. This is a really nice pen. And uh, I'll come in if y'all can see it right there. You see it? There it is. Can y'all see it now? Yeah, I think y'all can see it. See that pen? Alright. Now, oh, I want to turn my oldest thing around over. Woo, that's been bad. Okay, now, so I went ahead and uh, put some foothills back in there. And so I'm going to get my number three fan brush and I'm gonna go into some let's see I should have some black on my canvas oh okay here we go here's some black right here this will work now these paints that I use are professional paints and I got all brand new paints and brand new brushes to uh, to, to to work with and of course I've been having this fan brush you know a lot on some of my shows but, uh, uh, sap green is one of those colors that's new. I might need to put a little bit more right there and some right there. Okay, now, I also got raw sienna, too. That's a beautiful color. Now, I'm going to take some, now, uh, I'm going to take some on my fan brush. And we'll get some black and sap green. On my fan brush and I'm gonna do a heel right back here now this this canvas uh, this paint is going to have uh, foothills and oh well it's going to have trees and stuff so we're gonna Then we're going to bring this down here like this. Now I'm using like this. I'm using, uh, and this is a how-to video too, by the way. Okay. And let's see. We're going to bring this down here like this. We'll put a cabin right there. Right where you can see it. There you go. Okay, and then we're going to put this in here, like so. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and draw my cabin in there so y'all can watch me do this. Uh, let's see, what can we use to do this? Oh, I'm going to take some black. And, uh, see, even this brush is new, too. This is a script line brush. So it's new also. Draw a roof. Make it a little bit darker than that. Let's see. There you go. straight across like this. There we go. Now can y'all see that that cabin? I hope y'all can see it. Once I load this up to YouTube then y'all be able to see it. Now I have to tell y'all that I recently filmed a commercial. And the commercial was about uh, Art for Heart Painting Show commercial. If you have not viewed that commercial yet, uh, view that commercial. And when I upload videos, make sure that y'all leave me comments and subscribe to my channel. 
It would mean a lot to me if y'all would subscribe to my channel. It make me happy. It makes me happy when y'all subscribe to me. So subscribe to my channel. Okay, now there we go. And now this time we're gonna take some brown paint and well, brown right in here. There we go. This should be brown right there. Yeah, we're gonna load up with some white here. There you go. Now you're seeing this cabin. Right. There you go. But I have to tell y'all something. I really enjoy, uh, I really like painting. It is a lot of fun. And, uh, I really, I really like it a lot. I love, I love the paint. And, uh, you know, painting can, painting can be a lot of fun. If it can, uh, I like it a lot. Yeah, I like, I love, I love the paint. Um, and most of all, I love doing it for, for y'all. I love to do, do this for you YouTube fans out there and that thing. Alright, and, you know, I'm going to be doing a lot of new, uh, art, art, uh, a lot of new, uh, videos. I'm going to pick up into red. This is a how-to video, okay? And we're gonna see. We're gonna. Ooh, we're gonna put a red roof on it. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Nice, good red roof. Oops. Good thing I didn't have yellow down there. That would been bad. Yeah, it would have been bad if I had yellow down there. Ooh. There's just been some orange windows. <laughs> yeah. Nothing wrong with orange windows, you know. If you want a orange window, uh. Y'all can see that on you. Uh, once I upload this to YouTube, then you'll be able to see. Ooh, wee. Yeah, now y'all see it, huh? <laughs> Woo! Y'all see that now? All right. Yeah. Putting a red roof on this cabin. Nothing wrong with a red roof. There we go. And, oh, I know. I'm going to put a chimney on this one. Yeah. We'll put a chimney right there. And draw it in and then paint it in there. That's all you do for a chimney. Good, huh? Now, I have to tell you about a word of caution. Uh, if you like me and you paint with Otis thinner, uh, if you have small children, uh, if you have small children, and if you paint with Otis thinner, you might want to put something over your Otis thinner, so that way, children lose. Little small kids won't come up and think that's something to drink because it could make them sick. So, uh, put something over your oldest thinner, some kind of lid or something like that. 
And so make sure that you don't, uh, make sure smart children don't get into that. It could make them sick. Okay, now, oh, I know what I need. I need a window or two. We'll put a window right here. Let's see. Oh, here we go. You want to see that? Let's see if I can... Oh, and then that color might help. That color might help a little bit. Yeah. Well, I'll just put one, one, one window right there. Now, continue with this brush, and we're going to get in some highlight there, and put some highlight around the grassy area. Ooh, yeah, that's a good green color right there. I made up some yellow green. That yellow green is a fun color to uh, to to, uh, to work with. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to do an evergreen tree. It's very easy to do an evergreen tree. I'm gonna wet my brush there a little bit. Pick up some sap green and some black. Now come right here and make a line. Right there, and it goes from side to side, just like so, from side to side. I'm going to turn it over and use the other side. There you go. You go from side to side. And uh, this is a wet on wet uh, uh, also too. Wet on wet, tit, you know, wet on wet. But it's also, uh, you know, I'm also teaching this to y'all. I'm going to do another evergreen tree to show y'all. It's not, you know, doing an evergreen tree is not that difficult to do. Uh, just take your fan brush. I'm going to make a big one for y'all. Okay. You go from side to side like this. I turn my brush over. Ooh, yeah. Y'all see that? Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Ah, there you go. And then you put the evergreen trees in there. Start filling this up with green paint now. This has like a slope to it because it has like a hill back here, so it has like a slope. Yeah. The cabin in the foothills. Yeah. Y'all see this when I upload it to YouTube. to tell you about something. I took pottery uh, one time and that's pretty hard to do. <laughs> I don't think I could do pottery on this show. <laughs> uh, pottery to me is kind of hard to do. And I'm going to bring some down just like this. And let's see. I'm going to fill this in. And then we're going to do another tree off over there too. Trees, I love to do big evergreen trees like that because they're fun to do. Oh man, they're fun! But once you once you once you get the the hang of it, and, and, and once you get in, once you get used to it, and once you get the hang hang of it, it's not really that bad, folks. You know, it's really not. You know, it's really not all that bad. Once you get a uh, once you get used to this, it's not that bad to do. Uh, 
normally is an R is in jail. Uh, R is in jail, what that'll do is it'll help to keep your colors from running. And, uh, ooh, we can eat. Oh, man. I might have gotten too much of that on there. <laughs> oh, well, that's okay. We'll, we'll just work it into the canvas like so. And we'll work this one down. Like this. Just open it down right there. Ooh, that looks kind of nice. <laughs> yeah, boy. Let's get some more of that uh, Parmel. I think they're called Parmel Black. And uh, it's a real good color to, you know, to play around with. You know, I know. When I got Lizard Crimson Red, I could have put that in there, huh? Yeah, I could have put Lizard Crimson Red in there. It would have been real pretty. But wait when I go and put the highlight on, on here. It's going to really take off, man. I mean, whew. All right. You know what? That could be a pathway going up to that to the cabin. Uh-huh. Could be a pathway. There you go. Hang on this man, I gotta look at something. Hang on this man. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Alright. Oh, we're gonna need to put a door right there too. Yeah. This neat, but y'all can do this. If I can do it, you you can do it. I'm gonna go put me a tree. Yeah, one right here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Woo! I got put a me a man. I got put me a tree right in here. Now this is a record kind of tree. It will help. It will have leaves on it and everything. I know. I know. One right here. Not the evergreen tree, but I gotta put a regular tree right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's the door. Right here. Let's see. I gotta pick up some more black and see. There we go. There's a door. There you go, see? There's a door for you. Yeah, a door in my painting in the cabin. Yeah. Oh, also, uh, check out, uh, you need to view another one called Bridge Over, uh, Bridge Over the Water. I did one called Bird Flying Over the, over the Pond. You need to view that one. And I did one with a bridge, too. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to remember what that one's called, but, uh, but make sure that you, like I said, make sure that you view that other one, that uh, one about the uh, commercial I, I did, the Art for Heart. Okay, now we're going. Now I'm taking my my brush and pulling this down. And this is a I don't know what size brush this is. Uh, one and a fourth. And it makes some great man. This little brush here does some great trees. There we go. Well, wash it out. Ain't that pen neat? Yeah. Okay. Now I'm gonna take my 
breast right here. I'm going to wash it out. There's a can in here that I keep my Otis thinner in, a carpet can. And there's a screen down there. And uh, and then I wipe my brush off on oh, on paper towel, whatever I have, and I wipe it down, uh, wipe that down like that. Okay. Now we're gonna take some. Let's see. Let's take some. Well, I'll take some of this color first. And then we're gonna put this in here for that. Brighten up my okay. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and do the trees. And the only thing you need to do for the trees is so you can, you know, load up your fan brush, water brush you use, and you can load up with a uh, uh, black and sap green. And what's how I do these trees? Now these are not evergreen trees. These are just regular trees. Take my brush and tap this. I'm tapping it just like I did with the grass. But I want this this time put leaves on the tree and by just tapping a little bit of curl, uh, curly out of that one. Ha! Saw it? Pretty cool, huh? And then I'm just pressing up with my brush. Just pressing up with the bristles. And when you go to highlighting it, you don't want to destroy all your darts. You want to leave some of your darts in there. Okay. And let's see. What? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Right there. Yeah. And here we go. This one over here. Uh huh. Yeah. Here we go. And I tell you what. I really have. Like I said, I have fun doing this. I really do. I really enjoy this. Okay, now I'm going to do another evergreen tree, and let's see, we'll, we'll do one, usually I'm just using a corner of my fan brush, that's all, and these fan brushes, they come in different sizes, I'm going to do an evergreen tree right here, right there, turn my brush and go from side to side, oh yeah, that's it, look at there, from side to side, woo, there we go. Yeah. Oh, and that's a nice one. Oh, man, that, that's a nice tree right there. <laughs> yeah. That's a nice tree. Okay. Now, let's see here. I'm going to fill this in, too, with some grass. I can still get a pathway in there. We'll fill this up with some grass here for us. All right. If we want a, uh, if we want a pathway in there, we can do one. There we go. Now, I'm going to wash that brush out. And I got some uh, cabin, uh, cat dealer. It's hard to pronounce. And I'll put it right there. And let's see. Um, this time I'll mix up some. Uh, let's do some yellow, a little bit of yellow ochre in it, and I'm going to put some raw sienna in it with it also, too, and I'll mix it up together. Raw sienna, yellow ochre, and a little bit of cad yellow, and I'll make a beautiful yellow. Ooh, I know. Yeah, I might put some white in it. Oh, man. Woo. Dude, you talking about you talking about pretty? Then that'd be a pretty color. Oh yes. And I'm gonna take a knife. I use a knife like this to mix up paints and stuff with. Oh, there we go. Woo! Yes, sir. That's a good man. That's a good yellow. All right. And then now we're gonna mix this up. Let's get old yellow, and that'd be for the trees and bush. Oh well, I don't know. I haven't had no bushes in here yet, folks. 
I know something about painting. Uh, if you've been doing it as long as I have, you tend to get a little bit messy. <laughs> We'll get messy. Okay, now I'm going to take, take that brush and shake it off just a little bit and wipe off the excess paint. Now, when I get through cleaning my brush, I used to take a paper towel like this and I start wiping, start bending those bristles down. And that's to get all the paint out of there. Okay. Now, go into your yellow, whatever color you have, go into your yellow, take your brush, uh, use your fan brush, whatever brush you have, and let's, let's do these trees. Now, I'm type, uh, tapping in, using very small uh, paint like this. And once again, you don't want to destroy all your darts. You want to keep some of your lights in there, so don't. Don't destroy all your darts. Um, let's see. Ooh, yeah. There you go. It makes it look nicer, too. You, you know, you don't go in this bang, this bang in there. You don't want to keep banging that in there. And uh, you want to leave, like you say, you want to leave those darts in there. All right, let's go to this tree. Uh-huh. Okay. Then we're gonna go to this tree. Oh yeah, hey, this is looking nice. <laughs> and let's see, let's go over here and put in some. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, let's get up some yellow green. Oh, beautiful color. Yo. Yeah. Kind of if you can see it real good. Yeah. Let's see. I'll wet down with a little bit of Lancy oil. Oh, there we go. Now y'all see it. Okay. I think y'all can see it. When, once I upload this to YouTube, y'all be able to see it better. Ooh, we nice. And I made up a color curry earlier. Yeah, I can't get it. Let's see. Now, we'll go back on those bright colors I just made on the brush. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh, there you go. Yeah. So we can then some back right there. There you go. Okay, that's nice. And we're gonna put in some. Okay, and let's go ahead to this tree right here. This tree uh, here, back in that back. When you're doing a painting, you you do everything that's further away in the background. Then you have a middle ground, a foreground, and the back like three three. There's three three grounds: uh, background, middle ground, and foreground. And so, uh, yes, so you do everything further away in the background. Then you work towards the front. I'll take another color. I see. Oh, hang on just a minute. Okay, now <laughs> I'm trying my brush. There we go, there's a blooper. Drop my brush. <laughs> Sorry about that. Put some white around here where you can see around the door. Pick up a little bit more. There you go. Now you can. Now I bet you. Now, now y'all seen this. Yeah. There we go. That white helps 
to make it stand out. Y'all see that? And I think I'm going to put a fence in here too. Do a fence right here. Make a little line. Uh, make a line. Uh, to make a fence, go, uh, go into some black. And if you got a script line brush, go ahead and pick, pick, uh, use it. And uh, make a line. Make a line like this. And don't, those lines don't always have to be uh, exactly the straight. I'm going to space mine out there just a little bit. There you go. Alright. Now, we take some brown. And we go from this way. And that way. Yeah, there you go. Brushing not clean, that's right? good. Okay, now it is. Well, now it is. Okay. Now I'm going to take some white paint and I'm going to get some. Uh, get some bark on the tree. And let me show you how, how to do that. Take a knife. Use your knife. And hold your knife like, right back here. Okay. And hold your knife. Make a straight cut. Well. That's good. And then come up here. This knife that I'm using, you can use it uh, uh, there's another another part of the knife I can use and uh, I don't wipe it off. Through this one. Yeah. See what I'm going to do. I'm going to. Okay. What is this one? I'm going to go into some brown. Good old brown color. The Van Dyke brown, if you have it. And I'm going to pick up some Nancy oil. And we're going to do a pathway like this way. Right there, you gotta make the pathway going this way. You got some foothills in the back back there, so. And do a pathway going that way. Okay, let's see. I think I can do it now, y'all. Alright. Ooh, that'd be pretty. Yeah, I'm <laughs> trying to do a bush. <laughs> okay, here, here we go. Let's get let's get a dark color first. And then then I like the bushes. Ooh, there you go. Highlight bush. Highlighting bush is not that hard to do. Pick up some green again. Go into your, uh, if you got a fan brush and you're trying to make a bush like I am, 
Just use whatever you have. If you have sap green, black, use it. Okay? Use whatever you have. Okay, and let's see. We'll just do those just those four bushes. And Okay. Okay now. Get some yellow green. Put it right there. Hey, actually, I made that color, color up myself. I didn't have none, so I just I made some up. Yellow green. It is a beautiful color. All right. Well, I think I'm almost through with this painting, y'all. It's always fun for me to come on here or on art art for heart painting show. Some black very quick. Yeah, make some tree trunks for this. Okay. There we go. Make another window right here. You see that? There's a window right, right, right there. I'm going to make this one this is a little bit brighter for the camera. YouTube, for y'all to see. YouTube fans out there. Okay. Well, I think I'm through with this one, y'all. So, uh... Looks like I am. Hey, thanks for watching Art for Heart Painting Show. Until next time... I see you next time on another Art for Heart painting show. Bye.